Good morning, everybody. Saturday, June 22nd at the New England Motorcycle Museum. A couple days before we go for the CO on the big building. We've been working out for six years. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick project update. And uh, this building is actually, um, if you ever check in the Bible, it's actually 20 feet longer than Noah's Ark stem to stern and four feet taller. Give you an idea of the, how big Noah's Ark was. So it's a project of biblical proportions, absolutely. Six years, $6.4 million in, in restoring the buildings. I'll give you a quick run through, show you how it's looking. It's looking really good. So we're just gonna do a quick walk down here. You might have seen this, uh, the murals on this building were done by the Tallinn Middle School students along with our art director 15 years ago. And then they came back last year with my daughter, who's an eighth grader, and they did that Triumph uh, sign right there, or, or a mural. And then they did a Yamaha XS650. And this building, this is a church that's in front of the uh, school. Dave, wanna, wanna um, sit. Sure. So, so th this one right here is my all time favorite motorcycle. This is a 1977 Harley Davidson XLCR Cafe Racer in front of one of the nice small churches in town. And this is my hero, Evil Knievel. <clears throat> Doing a wheelie in front of the uh, big church in the, in the center of town there. <clears throat> so, um, so, so, uh, that's Dave's. This is Dave Riley. Dave, say hello. How you doing? You may or may not know Dave. Dave and I have been friends for oh, 30 years, and uh, he uh, used to run the uh, the the uh, um, his dad and him used to run uh, the uh, what was the name of the shop? Uh, Dylan Ford. Dylan Ford uh, Auto Body Shop. So Dave knows a lot about Auto Body. That's his. What year's your truck? 97. It's a 97 Power Stroke. Those of you in the know know that's the, that's the one to have. And there's our little 6.5 diesel. And this is Melissa. Say hello, Melissa. Hello. Melissa is one of our volunteers. She's down here to help us out. We have a lot of volunteers that help us keep the, the place looking good. She doesn't like being in front of the camera, so I won't focus on her too much. <laughs> so this, this, this building is the one that we're going for the CO on Monday. And um, we are uh, so, oh so close. We're putting the front door on it today. And uh, it's been a long road to hoe. All brand new cedar siding. Uh, original replica cedar siding. The trim up at the top of the building is actually made out of mahogany because this is a state historic parks office uh, historic building and uh, they mandated that it had to be mahogany which is really freaking expensive. And all the windows are wood on the outside and wood on the inside. There's 287 windows. Um, there was a ridiculous amount of masonry work. We had over 10 years of um, labor just doing the masonry. We had five masons here for uh, two years fixing all the masonry issues. This is an 1814 building. It's 200 years old. So, uh, hey Bob, how you doing? This is Bob. He's one of our lead carpenters here. Bob's been with us for oh, almost what five years. Bob working on the building, and uh, they're putting the icing on the cake right now, uh, which is the the front door. Um, so this is going on today, which is quite a milestone. The front door is pretty awesome. It's uh, um, this door cost us $3,800, dropped on the dock unfinished. Uh, we had to finish it and install it, so it's close to a $5,000 door when we're done. It's just going to be off the hook. This is the first floor of the building. We haven't done much in the way of cosmetics down here other than gutting the entire interior to the rafters uh, and fixing all the structural stuff. We will be doing um, a complete cosmetic overhaul of this. This is a stair tower right here. The stair tower, you'll never see one quite like it. It's an 1814 stair tower we completely restored from the bottom up. So big day getting the front door on here. So so uh, what time do you think the door will actually be in? It's uh, 10.30 now, it'll be in, uh, how long is it? By noontime. By noontime? Yep. That's awesome. These are granite, aren't they, Bob? The, oh yeah, uh, solid granite. Solid granite. Yeah, they don't make it like this anymore. <laughs> No, solid granite uh, entryway with a, um, I believe it's a, uh, I don't know if the door's mahogany or oak or what it is, but it's a really, really it's su mahogany. mahogany. Yeah. It's super heavy. Oh, this, um, heavy. this building was built before elevators existed, uh, although it does have an elevator. Almost 100 years later, in, in 1904, they put the first water-powered elevator in the building, uh, first one in Tallinn County, and we just restored it. It took us like two years and... I don't even know how much money we spent on the elevator, an obscene amount of money, but it's pretty cool. It's now electric powered. The, uh, that beam up at the top is how they would hoist stuff into the building since there was no elevator. This was the these were the loading docks. They dragged st every everything up with, with horse and tackle, and they didn't even have electricity back then, so these electric wires weren't there, and the roads were dirt when this was originally built, and everything was water powered 
from the from the river across the street. So um, in any event, uh, let's take a walk inside. I'll show you what we were working on all week long. And again, we're going for the CO Monday. So keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully everything will pass the test. So we were talking about the elevator. This is the actual elevator uh, door entry and this is the elevator shaft. We had three masons in here for an entire winter repointing the brick on four stories and we completely rebuilt the elevator. It's pretty amazing. This is the bottom side of it, but um, you can put like five motorcycles. You can put like five motorcycles in the elevator. Those are the elevator controls right there. Everything's completely rebuilt. And this is the motor. Ironically, the guy, Mike, who fixed the uh, uh, Help Us Rebuild Elevator, um, he actually uh, installed this when he was on the crew that installed this when he's 18. He's uh, now 55. Um, and they had replaced, this is the original uh, water powered shaft that uh, was hanging from the ceiling. We're going to mount this someplace in there. This whole building was run by water, series of belts and, and water power, but now it's electric. That's the first wheel from 1904. That's the early 40s first electric motor that was here. And then the one that they installed about 35 years ago, which we just completely rebuilt. So kind of a cool story, the elevator. I can get some additional light. This is the back stair tower here. It's kind of dark in here, the light's not on, but uh, it's made out of brick and concrete. And if you can imagine, this was built almost 200 years ago. It's like a spiral staircase in a castle, basically. It's really a unique staircase. I've never seen anything like it. It's pretty wild. So this is the second floor. Um, this is what we, we're, we've been, this is a football field long. Uh, this has a 10 foot ceiling, so it's, and it's got windows all the way around. So this is going to be amazing. The floors, I'll do a follow up video after we poly it this weekend, but we just sanded the floors. This is gonna be, I think the fifth coat of poly on here that we put on here. This is gonna be pretty wild. This is the elevator shaft right here, or the actual elevator cab. We just painted the, the yellow on the bottom here. So we're gonna put one more coat of poly on the floor in here, but this has been completely restored. Um, 4,000 pound capacity, very cool. So we're gonna go up to the third floor here and uh, you get another view of the castle staircase. That's what it feels like anyways. Spiral staircase made out of concrete. This is before they had engines, right? So they dragged everything up here with horse and buggy. This is the third floor. The third floor is uh, done, 100% completely done. This is a uh, 1884 Cincinnati milling machine that was water powered uh, antique tool that we're gonna keep in the museum uh, on display. This is the sales showroom of the New England Motorcycle Museum. The second and third floor are sales showrooms. Um, it is a football field long. These are the 1814 original rock maple floors. Uh, we kept the, the walls original looking. Um, ridiculous amount of effort went into the sprinkler system, painting that, making it look period correct. It's all painted black with gold uh, details on it. Uh, every piece of metal in the entire building uh, was painted, that was painted was painted black with gold detailing from the, the roof down to the, the basement. And on the far end, uh, it's an 1880 edition where you can see the color of the ceiling changes down there. Um, that has a five stories because it has a full basement. So this is a stair tower. We just, this is completely finished. I don't know if the pictures do it justice, but the stair tower is off the hook. You'll never see another one like it. It's a 200 year old, completely restored mahogany doors, wood windows, beautiful wood floors. A painter, our painter Kevin did a phenomenal job on this. It's just beautiful. So we're gonna uh, walk into the um, stair tower over here. This is our new uh, janitor closet we just installed here with a slop sink. Uh, very nice. Uh, this was part of an Urban, Urban Act grant that we got. The town, Mayor Dan Champaign and Sean Gately um, got us an Urban Act grant, a $500,000 uh, grant to finish the building and the, the these the stair tower and these bathrooms are what they part of what they created so um, This is the uh, this is the bridge over to the motorcycle shop this the uh, And motorcycle museum that we have on the third second floor of the all-concrete building. We finished that building five years ago. That's the uh, 
that's the bridge coming over here. Um, so you walk across the bridge into this room and uh, bam, you get a football field, long room to fill up with motorcycles. This is gonna be awesome. Love to get a big franchise here. Uh, we're talking to a couple companies about that, but for now we're an independent. This is a four story stair tower uh, built to look like it was original, but it's all brand new. Um, so except for the walls, that's original. Anything that, that looks brand new is brand new. Anything that's, we used a lot of reclaimed lumber on the flooring. There's the original walls. This stair tower came out absolutely beautiful. Lacquer uh, covered brass hinges on the windows. Um, everything's just, just done to a very high degree. We're detailing the honor of a 200 year old historic building. Um, this is the new handicap ramp coming in off the second floor that we built. The floors are all sanded but ready to be vacuumed in the last coat of poly. That's our free beer delivery truck. <laughs> so this is the second floor of you from the entryway, the second floor. And then you come out this door right here and uh, there's 10 buildings on, on the, in the complex here. This is building number three. Um, that's building number one. That's the mill manager's office. Uh, building number four, the restoration shop. Uh, building number two is this uh, loading dock and drive-in door along with a celestial light on it. Very cool uh, addition that they had done also in 1880. There's a side shot of the building. So that's about it. We're going to go to the front door and uh, see if Jason's there. These are the uh, heaters that were we refurbished and then we had to put these um, gates around them because they don't want anybody to walk into it and hit their head. So that would be bad. So Bob just opened the door to this is the uh, men's room on the on the far end. So a brand new bathroom on this end. Uh, and the ladies room is on the other line and so each floor has two stories So we're on the west end of the Second floor of the building a lot of detail work the beams painted black and gold with white and this end We did not paint these beams because this is an 1880 edition and you can see where the ceiling changes the style of the ceiling changes Outside it looks the same, but inside it looks totally different This is uh, almost 70 years newer um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, a different architecture. So um, my, this is my favorite spot in the building. The colors on the walls are just awesome along with the green and all the natural wood. Just a beautiful part of the building. There he is, Kevin. Kevin's the guy who painted this entire building. What's up, Kev? So uh, Kevin, tell us about the outside of the building. How'd you paint the outside of the building? With an artist brush. Honest to God, he used a four inch brush. Two inch. Two, two, a two, two inch? Two and a half. You're kidding me, right? No, no, he used a two and a half inch brush and on a lull painted this entire football field long four story building. So they, 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 they nicknamed him Bad Painter because he's a badass. He'll paint, he'll paint uh, Noah's Ark with a two inch brush, which is basically what he did and it came out freaking amazing. T t what do you tell everybody about the paint job, Kev? Tell me exactly, come on. Go inside of the lull with me, come up, and every square inch of this building's been touched twice with oil primer and top coat. It's, Every square inch. It's on point. You won't find a better paint job on an antique building. And the inside of the building, uh, the paint job you saw upstairs, that's all him. He's been here for years painting the building, and it came out freaking amazing. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. He did an amazing job. You're welcome. So, and we're not done yet. This floor right here, what do you see what we're going to do down here? This is going to be off the hook. Here's the dream team right here. Jason. Jay. This, this is the guy who... That's our lead, lead carpenter right here. Jason, he pretty much ran all, he built all the, the structural repairs on the building. Pretty much him, Bob, and a couple other guys, but this guy's been here through thick and thin six six years now, right? Yeah, about six years. Yeah, so. Uh, it's a team effort. Yeah, we, we've had we've had some rocky roads. We've ran out of money a couple times, but Jay was always here for us. Oh yeah, here for the long run. And today, today's a big day. What uh, This is something we've been waiting years for. Um, Jay's actually installing the front door on the the the, door. the building. So, what do you think about that, Jay? Oh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, yeah, it'll be. Uh, we're doing the icing on the cake now. Yeah, absolutely. The project. So yeah, it's, uh, it's all starting to come together. Uh, it's been a team effort. 
Absolutely, and I pre really appreciate all your support. He's here on a Saturday. His wife and kids probably wish he was at home, but he's here getting it done because Monday they're coming to test for the CO. So it's a big day today. Stay tuned. Monday, hopefully, we'll have some good news. So I'm really excited about getting this front door in there. I can't wait to see it. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, you're welcome. Dave, what would Jack Nicholson say no, about no, the project? No, no, no. The, the, are the fans want to know? No, no, no. What would he say? Come on, Jack. Jack does a killer Jack Nicholson. If I could do Jack Nicholson imitation heated, I'd do it all the time. Let's just say that. Man.